to the Thorn King <clears throat> Cash School of Creepiness, and they're studying music there together. And I don't think you have to know anything else before I start reading. All right, James. Music is my life. I read all the brochures for Thorn King Ash School of Music before I applied. The brochures said the school would nurture our already promising musical abilities. The brochures whispered tales of us emerging from high school as multi-talented super teens sporting academic skills who would slay Ivy League applications with a single thrust of our extracurriculars. <laughs> At the time, I thought, cool. And plus, theater was going, so I had to. But that was before I actually went. Once I got there, I found out that school is school is school, as Margaret Thatcher would say. Six or half a dozen. Of course, I'd only been at Thorn King Ash for seven days, so maybe I wasn't giving it enough time. But patience was not really my strong suit, and frankly, I just didn't see how taking a few music theory classes and sleeping in a dorm room was supposed to make us any different from regular high school students. I'd probably have felt differently if I played the damn cello or something because then I could be in one of the eight million performance groups on campus. When people said musician, they never seemed to mean bagpiper. <laughs> <laughs> this is personal experience. If I heard the phrase folk musician one more time, I was going to hit someone. <laughs> anyway, on days one through six, we, my fellow classmen and I, got orientated. We learned where all our classes were, the names of our teachers, when meals were served in the dining hall and at the door to the fourth floor of the dorm stuck. By day five, I knew what I was doing. By day six, it was second nature. By day seven, I was bored. On that seventh evening, I sat in my brother's car and listened to music served angry with a side dish of longing. I had read somewhere that scientists had done a study where they played rock music and classical music to two different sets of rats. I don't remember the details, but after a couple of weeks of the study, the classical music rats were peacefully climbing the corporate ladder and wearing Birkenstocks, and the rock music rats had gone cannibal and torn each other to bits. <laughs> Without knowing what band the rock rats had to listen to, I'm not sure what the study was trying to prove. All I know is if I had to listen to Pearl Jam for two weeks solid, I'd eat my roommate too. <laughs> Oh, I'm like, what are you talking about? He never uses her toothbrush. And she's like, yes. He walks into her bathroom, and she's like, they barely met, and he uses her toothbrush. And so, I mean, he's sleeping in her bed. They have sex, and he's a werewolf. But no, she's upset about the toothbrush, right? And I'm like, okay, this never happened. And she's like, it's in there. So in the bathroom scene, he's talking about how he's all stuffed full of words. I'm like, I did write this. And then he uses her toothbrush. He's been eating baby bunnies, Maggie, and he uses her toothbrush. <laughs> And so we're sitting there, we're waiting for dinner to cook, and I'm paging through, and I'm like, no, 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 no. And then, there it is. It says, I don't have a copy here, but it says. Is it right here? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Fine. So I'm feeling very vindictive, because we got more than half over a taste of blood in my mouth. I hope that's not a toothbrush. Oh, no, that's. Coffee drinking, more coffee drinking. Um, my editor accuses me of having coffee porn in my books, <laughs> which is, I don't drink coffee, and so I don't know, I just feel like I have to, um, it's like an overcompensatory thing. I'm like, look, I don't hate coffee drinkers. <laughs> I think I can't find it, but I can tell you, I can tell you the line. Laying in bed. Oh no, he's killing a dog. Never mind. Brush <laughs> <laughs> your teeth, killing a dog. I mean, it's really similar. He's wearing hats. They're talking German. I'm giving away all these things here. <laughs> anyway, so, <laughs> so the line says, I walked into the bathroom and then I brushed my teeth using Grace's toothbrush. I mean, it, was, it wasn't even subtle. And my mom's like, I was like trying to pass over and she's like, ha ah! ha! And she's like, that's the most disgusting thing you've ever written. And of course, you know, I kill people and, and lament and they get eviscerated like someone carries their nose by. They're, someone gets their heart ripped out in ballot. I burn people alive. No, no. She's like, that is the most disgusting thing you have ever written. She's like,